Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brony and I'm here for another update on my Chaxxas Rustler. Uh, first of all, the car actually does work, word, that's even a word, um, it does work fine. Uh, I got the, the motors working fine, the ESC's working fine, obviously the battery works fine, and the servo's working fine. So everything in this car is doing pretty good right now, but there's some, fl there's a, f there's going, there's like unnecessary flopping that's going on in my rear driver's side um, hub carriers. And here it is. There's the shaft. There's the hub carrier right here, or stub axle carrier they call it. And then here's the end of it. This thing is flopping. It's hard to portray this thing on video, but it's there. I can feel it. There it is. Yeah, that's not good. I tried to take it out, but this right here, this pin is a pain in the neck to get it out. And I'm trying to push it with my thumb, try to get out, get it out. It will not do it. I do not this I only had two of this happening and this is one of the two. The rest of them that never happened. So I do not know why it does that nor how it does it. Cuz out of all of them except two and this is one of them that never it never had this problem of getting getting that a uh, pin out of there. But I don't know why. So anyways, so uh, what's causing the flop on on the stub axle uh, is uh, I have I, I talked to I talked to this to, um, with one of my friends on Xbox Live who who is a uh, rustler owner for quite some time. He said that it has to deal something with the axle, um, the oil light bushings that's in this axle uh, axle carrier. It wears out. Obviously, I already know that, and. And when they and what I didn't know about the bearings being worn out, I did not know for a fact that it's going to be ovaled out, which this one in fact did. So, yeah, that's what the only thing I didn't know. But I do know that oil light bushings wear out, but I, <laughs> I did not know it will be ovaled out that way. <sighs> I may sound stupid, but yeah, that's you know, I say stuff that I'm not proud of at all. But anyway, so uh, I will get that squared away. So. This one, this whole entire unit is going to be crap now. So, I went to the Traxxas website. Um, yeah, I was watching YouTube earlier. I was watching this YouTuber reveal it first. Go check them out if you guys want to. Um, so, I'm going to take you guys to the Traxxas website. Right there. Alright, so here I am on the Traxxas website. I actually ordered three items. I have ball bearings, 5 by 11 uh, I bought ball bearings, uh, 5x11 size, and stub axle carriers, uh, which require those kind of ball bearings, and axle pins that I couldn't even get out on this particular uh, assembly here. Here are the prices for each, and I had to pay, including shipping, which is an extra $5, $12.50. And uh, yeah, I had to choose the cheapest one for shipping is because... Uh, I'm not in a rush, so, uh, and plus, you know, it's cheaper, you know, I couldn't resist a very low price. Um, I did not add um, an extra shaft. I did not order this piece right here, the, um, the shaft axle, because I have another one that's already um, laying down in my RC car parts bin, so that's uh, I'm good to go with that. And uh, all I just need is to have... Sorry about that, guys. My camera stopped uh, recording. Uh, anyways, um, I didn't I didn't order a, an extra axle shaft because I already have one that's been lying on my parts bin. So I'll be good to go. I just do not have the pin for it, so that's why I ordered the pins. Only, plus, it's only a dollar, so... Yeah, I have no problems with that. So, anyways, yeah, there you guys go. There's my Traxxas Rustler once again. So, once I'm done, once I get all the all these things squared away, once I get these, once my shipment has been arrived, once my shipment arrives, I'll be making an update video for you guys. See you guys then.